How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. In this video, we're gonna be trying to figure out what is the best floor liner for your truck or car. This is gonna be the next video in our truck accessory series. And if you wanna see more truck accessory videos or more videos about my 22 F-250, I will put that playlist right here at the top of the screen if you wanna see more of that. Now there's no doubt that when you're looking at floor liners for your truck, there are two main big name brands that are at the top of the pack and that's gonna be WeatherTech and Husky Floor Liners. Now I had WeatherTechs in my old truck for over six years and I was very happy with them. Uh, there were a couple things that I think could have been better and that's kind of what's led me to this. So we're gonna be checking out two different offerings from Husky Liners and comparing that to the WeatherTechs. And we're gonna see which one comes out on top. So I'm gonna give you kind of an overview of each one and then we'll get a close up look of it actually in the vehicle. But first guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. I am gonna have links to all of these, the weather text, the Husky weather beaters and the Husky exact contours in the description below. If you decide you wanna go with one of these for yourself, you can use my links there in the description. Now with all these floor liners, they're gonna be what's called a digital fit. So they have scanned the contours of the floor of your vehicle and they've done the best job they can to really conform their mats to fit your floor perfectly. We do have a few different materials that all these are made out of that I think are gonna make a big difference. First is the WeatherTech and that's one that most of us are gonna be familiar with. It's really kind of a hard plastic liner with as much coverage as possible to cover your carpets and keep them clean. Your weather techs are gonna have a smooth bottom. They don't have the carpet spikes that a lot of floor mats and floor liners have. Another thing that WeatherTech does a great job of is being super durable. They're some of the strongest on the market and they do a great job of water and dirt retention so that once you do get those dirty, they have deep cavities built into them that are designed to collect all that water and dirt and mud so that it's not able to escape the floor liner and get onto your carpet or make it slippery to your feet. Now let's get over to the truck and take a look at the weather techs inside the vehicle and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about the Huskies. All right, now here are my weather tech mats. I've had these in my truck for several years now and I have liked them quite a bit. They've done a great job of protecting my carpet and stuff. But I did want to point out a few things that I was not happy with. You can see this kind of folding over here not a great fit here against the back portion of the mat same thing here on this side while it does come up nice and high it doesn't stay up against the carpet there so stuff can still get down there underneath the mat but overall still a very good floor liner i like that it has this cavity here that's come in handy a few times so that anytime you get in here with uh, wet feet or if you were to spill something all of that is going to come down and kind of get trapped into this lower reservoir so um, there are some definite things that i like about the weather techs longevity over time uh, the quality is good but the only issue like i said is how they kind of curl up and don't fit perfectly against the contours of the floor looking again here at the back mat like i said very good coverage it covers everything really nicely and has done a great job of protecting the floor uh, but some of the same issues you can see here a fairly large gap here uh, from the side of the mat against the side wall here and then you get some of that same curling here on the back end and here at the door Here's an example of the passenger side. And again, these mats have been in my truck for several years now. I did get this one out, I sprayed it off, I wiped it down good, and it's almost looking good as new here. Obviously, you know, there's still some scuffs and stuff, but they do clean up nicely. If uh, once they get dirty, you just take them out, spray them off, wipe them down good, and they will maintain their look over time. Some of the same issues here on the passenger side but overall still a good mat. 
Now WeatherTech has come out with their new floor liner HP, which is a more of a rubberized material similar to what you're going to see in the exact contours from Husky. Now I don't have any experience with those, but I think you can assume they're going to be very similar. I will link to those in the description as well as all the others that we're talking about today. Now with the Husky liners, we really have two different offerings. We have their weather beater and the exact contour. Now the designs are gonna be exactly the same on both. They're gonna be the same cut, the same mold, all of that. The difference is gonna be the material that they're made out of. Now with the weather beater, you're gonna get something a little more like the WeatherTech. Now it is a little bit more flexible than the WeatherTechs, I will say that. Another big difference is that with the Husky weather beaters, you do have a little bit of a rubberized feel to it rather than that hard plasticky feel. So I do feel like these might do a better job of giving you traction so that your feet don't slip around on them. But as you can see, they are very rigid, but not near as flexible as the exact contours that we're gonna look at here in just a second. Now, another thing I do wanna point out before we move on to the exact contour. Now, the weather beaters that I have here are smooth on the bottom. And I believe that's because I chose the option for the vinyl floor truck, which I do have in my truck. I don't have carpet, I have vinyl floors. So on these front mats, they do not have any of the carpet spikes. It's just gonna be smooth on the bottom them and it's going to lock in through the factory nubs. The interesting thing about that is if you look at the rear liner in the weather beater, it does have the carpet spikes on the bottom and these are going to be extra hard, very pointy carpet spikes. And after talking to a representative at Husky, they did recommend that I not go with the weather beater for the vinyl floor truck because these are so sharp there is some concern that they might penetrate the vinyl floor on the truck. These sharp carpet spikes are really designed only for the carpeted models. However, since the front liners are smooth on the bottom, I could go with the weather beater fronts in the vinyl floor. I just can't use the weather beater rear floor liner. Now moving on over to the exact contour. Now as I pick this up, you can already see that this is much more malleable, much more flexible than the weather beaters. You can pretty much roll this up. Now it will go right back to its original shape, um, but it's much more flexible, much more rubberized. This mat does not have the hard plastic feel that you're gonna get from the WeatherTechs and uh, from the weather beaters. This is more of a very strong rubber mat. Now in my research, I have seen that a lot of people prefer the exact contours because it is a little bit flexible. They say it tends to contour better to the floor of the truck. As you saw with the weather techs, I had issues with them not laying flat against the walls of the truck and leaving gaps. Also in the top, it is gonna be a little more rubberized than either of the other two mats. So you will get a little more traction with the exact contours. Now talking about the carpet spikes again, this is something that kind of confused me uh, since the weather beaters are smooth on the bottom but the exact contours do have carpet spikes. Now, after talking to the Husky representatives, um, they say that with the exact contour, uh, whether you have vinyl floors or carpeted floors, um, it's gonna be okay because these spikes are not near as hard, they're more rubbery, and so there's not as much concern about it damaging that vinyl floor. And I think I'm gonna agree with them on that. These are very rubbery. I don't see them damaging the vinyl floor at all. Now, if you have carpeted floors, um, I think that the carpet spikes are a major plus because they're gonna help dig in and grab onto that carpet and prevent the mats from moving any. And that's gonna be most of you guys anyway. But just so you're aware, they do not make the exact contours without the carpet spikes. All of the exact contours are gonna have the carpet spikes. With the weather beaters, you can get the fronts without carpet spikes, but the backs are gonna have carpet spikes. Now, I know that's probably very confusing. It was for me too, but either way, we're gonna test these out and we're gonna see which one works best in the truck. All right, guys, now taking a look at the Husky weather beater. Again, this is the harder plastic version. Uh, but right off the bat, you can see that the Husky liners, even in the harder weather beater model, 
really fit the contours of the floor much better than the WeatherTechs. If you look here, you can see there is really no gap here at the wall of the truck. Down here along the step board, again, it lays perfectly flat. Coming up underneath the seat, again, perfectly flat. And then down here under the seat, it fits the contour of the floor perfectly. So that is a win for the Husky Weather Beater as far as fitment. Now it does have a very nice design here as well. It still has the high walls. It comes up pretty high on the sides here. Another difference with the Husky Liners is even though it has these raised sections here, that's really what's going to interface with your feet. What you don't see is that deeper cavity back here at the back to collect that water like the WeatherTech has. So as far as design, I'm going to say the WeatherTech design may be a little bit better just because it has that deeper cavity down in here. But at the same time, I really don't see that being an issue. It's still going to trap that water and dirt and stuff below the surface of where your shoes actually sit. And because the fitment of these is just so much better than the WeatherTechs, um, it looks a whole lot better. It fits down in the contours of the floor so much better. As of right now, I'm going to say that the Husky Liner Weather Beater is at the top of the pack right now. So let's go look at the exact contour. All right, guys, this is the exact contour. We're over here on the passenger side now. Now, just looking at this, you see almost no difference. Like I said, the design of the exact contour and the Weather Beater are going to be exactly the same. The difference is the material. So if I lift up here, you can see that it's much more flexible. And because of that, I do think it lays down uh, to the contours very well. And if I had carpeted floors, I may say that the exact contours would be my choice. However, because this does have carpet spikes on the bottom, even though I have vinyl floors, they do not make the exact contours without the carpet spikes. I don't know if you guys can see this here, but it doesn't lay perfectly flat. And what's happening is those carpet spikes are holding it up off the floor just a very little bit. Now, I'm sure you guys are going to say I'm just being picky, but that's why we're here to see which is the best and for what application. Now, it does still fit very nice. You can see it's very nice and close on the sides nice coverage here on this side wall and it does fit all the way up against the floor i can definitely tell that this is more rubbery and would provide a little bit more traction than the weather beaters or the weather techs it attaches here in the same way so what you have is a hole here that's going to interface with the factory nubs on the floor of the vehicle and you just line it up and press down and it locks itself in place as far as fitment, as far as filling in gaps and fitting perfectly to the contours of your floor, Husky Liners, whether you go the exact contour or the weather beater, I'm going to say they are going to beat out the WeatherTech every single time. All right, guys, now looking in here to the back of the truck, the one I have in here is the exact contour mat for the back of the truck. Again, because I have vinyl floors, and because of the hard spikes on the rear weather beaters, I am going to be going with the exact contours for the back. The fitment is very good. You can see it fits the contours very nicely. Very little, if any, gap there at the walls. You can see here up underneath the seats, it does raise up here to prevent any water or dirt or anything from getting past these floor mats. I really love the feel and the design of these. I think it looks great. Now you'll notice one thing I did do here is I tucked the back of the mat up underneath the shell of this storage compartment. And if you do have a Ford Super Duty with this storage compartment under the seat, you could do that as well. And that's gonna help hold it down and keep it nice and flat to the floor. I will say back here, there's a little bit of a gap there uh, that's not ideal, but I think that's going to be okay as well. So as far as the rear, I don't think the rear fitment is quite as good as the fitment in the front, but it still does a great job of coverage, and I think it's going to protect the floor very well. All right, guys, so for the final verdict, what do I think? What's going to be the best? 
Um, I think for overall durability, because of the rigidity of the WeatherTechs, I can say without a doubt that the WeatherTechs are gonna give you very good longevity and durability. Now, I don't know that the same would not be true about the Huskies. I just haven't been able to put the time in with the Huskies to say whether or not they're gonna last the same amount of time. They seem to be very high quality, very good, sturdy, rigid material, and I have no reason to believe they wouldn't last just as long. Now, between the two Husky liners, I'm kind of torn. Now, because I have vinyl floors, what I'm gonna end up going with is the weather beaters for the front because they fit perfectly. They had zero gaps and great coverage. With that said, the only reason the exact contours don't fit in my truck quite as well as the weather beaters in the front is because of the carpet spikes and that's just something I couldn't get around. So if you guys have carpet, you really could go with either one. It just depends on if you're looking for that hard rigidity of the weather beater or that flexibility and rubberized material of the exact contour. I don't think you could go wrong with either one, but for my truck personally, I'm going with the weather beaters for the front and the exact contour for the back. Now, I hope this video helped you out. Husky Liners, if you're watching, please take note of this. We would love to see both types of floor liners manufactured with and without carpet spikes so that we have more options for more applications. With all that said, I hope this video helped you out, guys, helped you out making the decision. Um, I am happy that I'm switching over to Husky liners. Like I said, I loved my WeatherTechs for a long time, but they just don't fit the floor cavity near as well as the Husky liners, and that is ultimately what made my decision for me. So I will have links to all of these in the description below. You can pick whichever one you like. Use my link in the description. And if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.